Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here. Um, <clears throat> I just want to do a quick reading. I woke up this morning and I thought about the Aquarius energy. Very emotional, very the heavy. Uh, good emotion, bad, indifferent, all of those things. And it could just be me, but I really feel like the Aquarius uh, as a whole, you know, going through some type of spiritual awakening, ending, new beginning. It's all together just, you know, shifting, changing for the Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. Off camera, you had some really good cards pulled. And I, then I decided, I said, well, you know, I'll go ahead and do a, a quick reading. What is it that the Aquarius should be focused on? What is it that the Aquarius, okay, finances. Yeah, off camera, you had windfall. So this, it might be good. Um, let's see, what is, what is it that the Aquarius should be focused on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome the new. So there's newness here. And we're going to pull some clarifying cards here. It's just, you know, um, wow. There's some, it's like some of you have been broken down, like stricken down. And now spirit can work with you to help rebuild and regain and re, re restructure, re this, leaving. Nice. At the bottom of the deck, we have self-care. Okay. So, really good cards. Finances. Welcome the new. And leaving. Okay. Let's see what the angel answers have to say for us. Finances are getting better for the Aquarius. Once the Aquarius focuses on what it is they should be pursuing actively. What it is they should be putting all energy, effort, time into. The Aquarius can no longer be scattered in their energy because scattered energy gets you scattered results. So it's about harnessing and focusing. Okay. Be the chariot. Okay. All right, let's see. Improving health under finances. So improving uh, financial health, uh, emotional, spiritual. It could be all of those things. But it's improving. This is absolutely gorgeous for the Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Venus, Mars. What? You know, I don't really get into all of that if you feel like this reading resonates with you and it's your moon venus whatever sign then it resonates you know um i can't really govern that only you can you and spirit act spirit welcome the new welcome the new what's new for the aquarius what do you have to say thank you No need to worry. So some of you are in a place of worry. There might be lack or just the lack of foresight. And, and, and uh, yeah, foresight. Not being able to see how this thing pans out and how it works out. But the cards say, spirits say, God, universe, whatever it is you Believing says no need to worry. Leaving. Let go. Okay. So then we have a no answer at the bottom of the deck. Um, so if you have a question, Aquarius, the answer may be no. If it's a yes or no question. Should I? Can I? Will I? Will they? Whatever. Yes or no question. Looks like the answer is no. Uh, but we'll drill down on that. 
So we have a leaving and let go. What can you tell us about leaving and let go for the Aquarius? For the Aquarius as a whole. The Hierophant. For some of you, it's going to be leaving and letting go of, you know, being aligned with big organization, corporation, a uh, big entity, a uh, big structure, a union, uh, marriage. It's something institutional. Let go. You may be leaving that behind and you need to let it go. Some of you, you're going to be letting go of love affair, childish behavior and games being played, drama, um, discord, uh, dissension, di you know, disdain, all of that, the problems that come with um, lack of organization. Some of you are going to be letting go. And your letting go will be uh, two different things. Let go. Leaving. Let go. The Hierophant. Let go of those limiting beliefs. Those traditional beliefs. That limit you. You know, not to say that you, you need to, you know, not have any boundaries or structure within yourself, but let go for some of you because romance is here too. There's so many messages in this card. What are, yeah, and then the Knight of Wands. Let go of leaving. Some of you could be, it could be an actual move home move um if not let go and let this passionate endeavor person place or thing let it happen Six of Pentacles. Let go and allow something, some passion, some romance to happen because it could be just what you need right now. It could be helping you balance out your own self and your own energy. Um, some of you need to let go of a marriage, institution, corporation, uh, being aligned with something like that because you'll never. It's not enough money. It's problems in this relationship. Some of you dealing with Libra, definitely. Yeah, some of you are going to have to let go. Um, six of Pentacles. Give me one more card for the Six of Pentacles. This could be a, a marriage, a second marriage, second relationship for you. Six of Swords, yeah. Once again, you may have to leave something behind, leave, let go, move away from. Um, this could be an actual physical move also. Welcome the new and no need to worry. Welcome the new, no need to worry. I feel like there's a lot of Aquarius who have a lot of anxiety in regards to what is coming next. Is the shoe gonna drop? How does it look? If it drops, what's happening? Yeah, Page of Cups. Insight. Um, spiritual messages. Um, welcome the new. 
Wow, Knight of Cups. Like I said, there could be some romance, romance or something coming in for you. It's going to read differently for every Aquarius. Someone, it's somebody sidestepping you. So they don't know how you feel. They don't know if they should take this serious. They So they come at you with just messages. And then if you're open to it, they come at you with an offer. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Um, also, something you do spiritually, some, some spiritual base. Um, it may have started small. Now it, it, it's going to be a lot larger for you. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Looks like you find your stability in this. You start to put more energy, effort, time behind cultivating something that you that is unique and creative to you. Yeah, so it'll be a decision, excuse me, a choice of maybe love and career, what you love to do, and your your own set career that you've been in for a number of years there's a choice that needs to be made here this could be in regards to love also the lovers here some of you are evaluating your life thus far and trying to figure out if you're on the right path like the what is your life worth and what is what is purpose what is useful four of cups some of you can't see once again foresight can't see that spirit is offering you a way out you keep looking at the three of cups and thinking well how can i shift morph this energy um i'm too concerned with the fact that i don't know how to the Spirit is offering you a change of journey or direction, maybe even home. For some of you, you may be moving away, leaving. Um, finances, improving health. Let's see, finances, improving health. For some of you, just need to really rest in an air of faith the hierophant again so for some of my Aquarius it's about getting organized being organized and staying organized you cannot be sporadic and expect an organized result from that you're going to get sporadic results what you put in is what you get out right how you start is how you finish some of you need to get under some real rule and regimen for yourself. You may any may even need to align yourself with a entity, corporation, something like that that can help you get finances in order. The Empress, yes. Um, something about you starting something. It could be business. It could be yeah. The Empress is about the birth of. Um, it could be business, definitely. Um, where do you put your finances in regards to this business? Maybe having a business plan, doing the work also. Um, there's a there's room for improvement. There may be unexpected money. Good luck that comes in for you. It allows you to release some of that burden it allows an ending to happen right it allows you maybe either to travel to continue to walk on a spiritual path or journey it allows you to walk away from what is no longer serving you what never was wow to get on that spiritual path the star card to get back to a place of, once again, it's just like course correction for some Aquarius. Prince of Pentacles on the Knight of Pentacles. This is when you're pounding away at 
a particular goal that you've had for a long time. We know that the Prince of Pentacles or Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. It is the one that achieves. So this has been a journey, a quest. You've, you've gotten on the horse, you've gotten off, you stood by the horse, you looked at the horse, you got back on it, you walked away from the horse, you went to go get the horse water, you came back to it. This is what you've been doing on this journey in regards to some spiritual enlightenment path that ties into your financial sector, your, your life purpose, and, and the, the stability Stability of money, money staying with you. Uh, that's wealth. Um, let's see, Aquarius. What is the advice for the Aquarius? I don't want to use that. Day. Let's see, what is the advice for the Aquarius? Aquarius, it's just really about you shifting and focusing. Shift, focus. Shift, focus. I'm shifting my energy and I'm focusing. All right, so let's get into this. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Also, in the interim of you starting business, uh, starting a new way of earning income getting finances in order there is an element of someone wanting to come in and offer love uh offer romance um yeah i mean it says that it could bring you to a balanced state now does that mean that you're gonna run away and get married and it's gonna be longevity in that i don't know i don't see that particularly it might be a cancer you're dealing with uh but cancer pisces scorpio it could be anyone but i do see that something comes in and offers you relief what's the advice for the aquarius moving forward advice king of earth get solid get grounded get stable make solid stable decisions for yourself and all parties involved stability stabilize um passive income get to a place of you're not having to be in the rat race but things are coming to you It says that there's some financial book. I forget which one I read. I read one. Um, you know that you have made it, quote unquote, or you are on your right path in regards to uh, finances and the earning of when you, in whatever you do, your business, your independent contract, whatever it is you do, when you are able to make money while you are sleeping, then that is what you should be doing in your life. That was an interesting perspective. Take it how you will. But if you can make money and you're asleep doing it, then you are where you need to be, okay? That, of course, you know, we can reduce that down to you know, rational thought. That would be commerce, e-commerce, right? Um, people can't knock on your door and give you money for your service in, in the middle of the night, but they can visit a website. They can visit a page on the internet. They can book a whatever. They can um, fill out information forms um, via internet and website while you are not doing anything while you are sleeping you know so it's about getting to a place of autonomous money stability okay uh king of our what's the advice for the aquarius three of water it says 
keep creating friends and or family change the way you think too um there might be some foundational some learned foundational thought pattern you might have to shift that you're gonna have to change that it talks about childhood foundations they need to be shifted they need to be changed um in regards to your thinking um siblings friends family could help could be shoulder eight of air advice for the aquarius eight of air uh eight of air change the way you think about asking for help from friends and family um, there's like a negative connotation you have in regards to merging. Also, there's like a negative connotation you have in regards to somebody reconciling with you. You don't think very highly or positive about this person. You may even think that this person just wants to return for sex. Um, to be almost an energy vampire. To use whatever it is you, you can give or have given to them in the past. Um, yeah, that is that. Also, for some of you, this is pride, and you might have to shift that focus. Yeah, shift focus, shift focus, right? Um, you may have to kind of let the pride subside. There are some people who want to offer help. Or people who can help. Okay. Um, yeah, justice. And the magician. Yes. So you don't think highly about somebody coming back in. And. Because of what everything I just said. There may have been drama. There may have been a love affair. Childish games. Um, yeah, all of those things. It looks like they want to come back and apologize. They feel as if a debt needs to be repaid unto you. They feel as if maybe they can even offer good advice. This could be back to friend, back to family. They can offer good advice here. Um, you may feel like you want to pay a, a debt. You need to repay a debt or a debt is being repaid unto you. Uh, the magician, it looks like once the scales are balanced, you can then, you then have the idea of if someone wants to start over, they want to do this is somebody who does some skill work too. They want to do everything they didn't do with you. This is how they look at the connection. The two of water, two of cups. A successful relationship. Mutually beneficial. Um, the ebb and flow. The give and the take. This also talks about commerce. It talks about the the filling the need, filling the void. Um, this talks about money, material possessions, work ethic or lack thereof, habits. So Aquarius, um, back to some of you who are trying to start business, trying to do something. Someone can offer really good advice um, or something comes in and balances out the energy of you feeling stuck, bound, tied. And now you're at the magician status where you can now feel like you can utilize every opportunity, every all with this, all that is within you to make something come to fruition. You feel as if the, the slate is clean here and now you can move forward. 
in regards to either love, uh, it, it can, and it could be both, or money. No one really talks about, so the twos govern money, material possessions, uh, work ethic, habits, what you do daily, routine. Back to what we said, in order to get finances correct, in order to get real stability, you got to get routine about something. It says that it's here for the taking. Spirit might need you to match the energy. Once again, back to the Prince of Pentacles. You keep getting off the horse. You get back on it. You walk around it. You, get, you look at it. You get back on the horse. This is something you've been doing for a number of years. And this could also be a person. You know, this is what you guys do. You In and out for a number of years. Uh, and this is what someone could have been doing to you. Um, in regards to a particular person, how does this person feel about the Aquarius? We're going to close this out. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Could be done with a water sign. This is Cancer. Um, Nine of Swords. They feel as if they don't. They can't read you. They feel as if the connection is over. There is strain. There is. Uh, you guys aren't talking. You guys are separated. Nine of Yeah. They feel like you don't need them. They feel like you're abundant. You're independent. You anyone could want you could have you. You could have anyone. They feel as if you are concerned with. They feel as if your culture knowledgeable. They could be looking at you, page of swords, looking at social media, asking around about you, thinking about you. Yeah, page of wands, they could be wanting to give message of good news of 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 their expansion of what they're doing in their life yeah uh message of them wanting to reach out they could be thinking about the sex the intimacy level that they had with you they could be thinking about merger yeah yeah this is a person who is at a crossroads. Um, they understand that they're going to have to sacrifice something in order to have what they want. They could be rushing in passionately. Um, maybe because they want to restart the friendship. The romantic relationship. Right. They want sex and intimacy. They could be watching you. Secret admirer. New boyfriend or new girlfriend. They, they, they have put you on empress status. They want to start to recreate with you. What I am not seeing is you may have been in a love affair with this person. They may want to start that back up. Let's see. Right. You make them very happy. They see you as a wife. But there's something that they have to do. A choice that they have, the decision they have to make in regards to someone that's standing in their way. They have to cut out a particular person, place, or thing. Two of Cups again. They feel as if this is like divinely orchestrated. There's some change going on in their world. They don't feel very confident about, you know, they understand that in coming back to you, they're going to have to be humble and apologize. They cannot stop thinking about you. 
With you, it's different because there's like a sense of usefulness in that life. This person feels like you're a soulmate, like you could be, you are the one. Could be dealing with cancer. Lack of commitment has, has not, fear of commitment has, uh, held you back from having what you what you really want. Some of you could have had someone or something a long time ago, but there was fear of commitment here because it 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 or or the person um how can I word this? require the Aquarius to be in a position where there was great compromise on their end. The, uh, once again, the Aquarius couldn't see four the, the foresight in that combination with a particular place or thing or something you were doing or some relationship that you were in, you couldn't see that you are getting what you want or you can have what you want in this, but it's not will of fortune here. It's not coming to you in that manner that you think it should look like it says that luck is out of our control so the aquarius may have so some of this somebody had you in a third party right and it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good to the third party ever it feels good in the beginning when it's fun and it's free and feelings aren't involved too much but then feelings get involved and it might be demands made. Things just shift. Things just change. It's no longer fun. It says that this person had a lot of love and fondness to you, for you. It's just that you couldn't see. That if you would have hung in there and not been in and out with this situation, you guys could have been together a long time ago. Yes, answer and wait. It says that for some of you, um, you, you didn't fight hard enough for something. It didn't look like you wanted it to look, so then you just released it. Within the next few months, you have a timeline here. Uh, don't stop. Yeah, and it's up to you here. Okay, uh, we do clarify our yes answers. What's the yes answer for the Aquarius? Yeah, it's... I mean, you can't go back. We don't have a time machine, but it looks like this situation might resurface. There's someone wanting to resurface and they may be different or they might not. They may try to put you in third party situation uh, again, or they might not. They may really want something real with you. Yes, we have a yes answer. This Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the bottom of the deck. Okay, so yes, yes, these answers are within you. Okay.
yes, for some of you, you need to be on a different path. You're looking outside of yourself for answers, and the answers are within you. You already know something. It says that psychic abilities are heightened in regards to the opposite sex. Prosperity and success can be had. And then there comes the Knight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. This may even be a situation where someone wants to once again merge life with you. Um, do the monumental things in life. Um, travel, marriage later in life for some of you. Um, there's someone who, this is a relationship that you've blocked out. There used to be a, a sense of telekinesis. You guys could talk. There's like a sense of, this is spiritual. So yes, someone wants to come back and offer something solid. Um, in regards to business, some of you, you are the the um, the expert, the spiritual guru, guru. You have you're at the expert level of something. Um, your your psychic abilities are heightened here. You you have fostered, you have cultivated um, a higher level of intuition. You've been doing this for a long time. It's something you've been working at and working towards. It says that you need to allow the disappointment maybe of the past to just set in and then make a, cho a decision to, dang, once again, the two of cups to, this is business, the Knight of King of Wands to um, do your own thing. You provide a service. You provide um, it, uh, item products. There's a need. There is the, the exchange of. There's money to be made in entrepreneurship. But you've got to get clear on, is this the way you're going? Universe wants to bless the path, but you aren't clear about it due to fear of committing to it. You, need to, you, you have gotten under some spiritual awareness, awakeness, some guide. You needed to do that. Uh, some mentorship. You're ready. Don't stop whatever it is you're doing. It's up to you in regards to what it is you want to have here it could be love too this is a male cancer it could be Aries Sagittarius Leo um the Aquarius has not had what they wanted due to fear of commitment okay so once you shift and refocus, shift your focus, and be, what's the, how did that just escape me? Uh, and get on that path of uh, be, like being a one track mind in regards to something or someone then you can have what you want. Some of you, you're your long-term wealth is tied up into maybe even into um, a partner, a marriage partner. Somebody disappointed you and they kept disappointing you for a very long time. Somebody chose something over you. They want to come back. There's something you did in regards to money business, right? That disappointed you and then you decided to work on something else. 
But now you're back at it, you're back to it. Aquarius, shift, focus, okay? Aquarius, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. If you feel like you want your own reading, go over to the website and book that there. Um, no extension here. I think we, we pretty much got what we needed from this reading. Um, take it if you just have one question, take advantage of the five dollar or I think it's six dollars and sixty six cents. Um, take advantage of that, you know, just to gain a bit of, of clarity. I know sometimes with readers, I like I might just do like a small reading, I don't need anything extensive, but. You know, just to see. I hadn't done it in a long time, but just to see. But um, definitely get to that place, Aquarius, of shifting your focus. You know? Um, and, and be focused. You can't, at one disappointing measure, you go and run to something else or run to someone else. You just keep going. You just keep living. You just keep flowing with the energy, okay? Aquarius, I hope that this message gave you some clarity. It resonated with you because I felt like I needed to do it because it's like a really emotional time for some of my Aquarius in regards to making life choices and decision, okay? Thank you, Aquarius. Take care, guys.